Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time. If you're new here, my name's Corey and this is KRP Models. And I want to welcome you to my Enskill Mojave subdivision layout. This is layout update number 19, February 2020. I know a lot of you guys may be asking yourself, Corey, where have you been? Well, I've been sick. I've been sick for like three weeks and uh, finally feel able enough to make a video so I'm gonna put down the snot rag and I'm gonna drop my tools and blow the dust off my camera and I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to for the last Jesus I don't know three four months I think the last video I made was uh, yeah November 17th holy smokes where the does time go I don't know but anyway all that being said I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to and we're going to have a look at the progress I've made February 2020. Let's take a look. Mid-November 2019, I was not happy with my yard situation, so I ended up tearing it all out. Through that process, I figured out my main line wasn't straight, so I ended up taking that out too and replacing it. As you can see, more sturdy plywood. But after that, all my track was having to be shimmed up, and I wasn't having it. So I ended up replacing basically everything. So as you can see in the photos, I replaced all the track. As you can see here, a drastic difference. Way more improvement all hand painted ties and rail so you can see here before and after a complete difference it's so much better so let's take a live look at it right now all right so let's take a live look at the layout as it stands February 2020 I got a lot to cover I've done a lot of things and uh, hopefully I don't forget nothing but I'll do my best so let's look at the yard here as you can see I'm in the middle of uh, ballasting the other half of the yard here like I said I just dropped my tools and uh, picked up the camera to show you guys what's going on so the yard is uh, totally rebuilt added more track, more linear foot storage. Of course, it's still not enough for all the cars I have. But these are all Pico uh, switches, Code 80, with uh, Atlas Code 80 track. And uh, really, really impressed with the uh, Pico switches. I really like them. More fine tuned and uh, better quality than you can find with the Code 80. Atlas stuff. Um, so we'll move over here. All this section is all glued down, the ballast and everything. This is all complete, except for these two tracks in the front here. I'm still uh, figure that out. And in, in the meantime, with filling this gap in. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming along. I'm really happy with the, the progress. And let me tell you, ballasting is not one of my favorite things, but, you know, it's pretty relaxing, man. If you get in the zone, just get it done. Next, we'll move over to the curve over here. And if you may or may not recall in my last layout update uh, video, um, I was having a lot of trouble with the curvature of the track and uh, not being engaged. Well, what I figured out is since I have, like, it's kind of like a teardrop, but not an actual... Um, it, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's a weird little curve I had going on here. So what I figured out was going on with that Atlas flex track was that the rails were bending inside the ties. Um, which was kind of screwing up the gauge, of course. And so I, what I figured out using Pico concrete flex track doesn't do that. So I redid the whole curve here using Pico Concrete Flex Track and it seemed to uh, solve that problem. You know, it's a more sturdier track 
it doesn't flex as uh, much as the uh, the Atlas stuff does. So that's what I got down there. And of course I still have to put a siding in. You know, I'm a little apprehensive about the uh, radius um, because this is already tight already, but you know, I'm gonna have to do that just to make a siding. Mind you, this is only temporary, as you can see. Again, I'm using my jawbone branch as the main line because, of course, in reality, these two tracks are going to go continue on, and when I get a bigger place, that's what's going to happen. But in the meantime, in my uh, apartment, I'm just going to be using this as a you know a little turnaround. So yeah, that's what I got down over here, and it seems to be working pretty good. All my larger auto racks and. Uh, Double stacks have been rolling around just fine. All right guys, so moving in uh, this direction here, you guys may have noticed this nice little piece of uh, structure. So this is a Wiseman Model Services triple track uh, signal bridge, which I kit bashed. Um, all the signal heads are from uh, Showcase Miniatures, which I just glued on to brass rod. Uh, the stanchions come with the kit. Uh, the walkway or manway is an old piece of uh, walkway I had from a BLMA, um, one of those billboard ads, and it just happened to fit right on there perfectly. Uh, yeah, the upright stanchions for the walk or for the handrail came with the kit. All the rest is uh, just uh, styrene plastic. All painted silver, got the ladder on there, and all the wires are nicely hidden, tucked away, all ran down the vertical pieces of the uprights, all fed down through the wood, balsa wood uh, base there. Uh, let me tell you, this is uh, <laughs> one hell of a project I took on, but I got it done. I still don't have all the uh, heads hooked up, of course. I got these two running off a uh, rail logic, or logic rail, I'm not sure, um, block animator. So, you know, I mean, it, it works somewhat prototypically. I mean, it's close enough for right now. I mean, at least I have a little bit of animation. But my other plans for the uh, uh, the straight routes are, uh, I'm going to try and piggyback those off the turnouts that I have going on, which we'll get into right now. So if you may or may not recall, I had plans of putting turnouts on all my switches in the yard and having a control panel, which at the time, yeah, seemed like a good thought, but the uh, actual logistics, the money, the time, Holy smokes, yeah, no. So basically what I came up with, so all my main lines have tortoise switch machines. My first, uh, I call it my arrival departure track, second arrival departure track in the yard here. Those have uh, switch machines. So basically I have that hooked up to a little panel here in my fascia. So all I gotta do is just throw the switch and it'll tell me which direction it's lined for. So of course, straight is green, diverging is red, so on and so forth. And it's been working out pretty good. I'm glad I did that. Because like I'm, you know, that's a, I mean if you count the switches, holy, it's a lot of time and money and since I'm using Pico all I gotta do since they're snap switches is just you know move, move them back and forth that's all it takes so it makes no sense it's not like the Atlas stuff where you know you'd have to use a ground throw but these are snap switches so it works perfectly 
Okay guys, so we're underneath the layout now. I just wanted to give you guys an idea, I'm sure you all know, <laughs> what it takes <laughs> as far as the wiring goes on a you know project like this. Um, let me tell you, this has been my nightmare for like two weeks straight. So this is the uh, logic rail block animator, which is uh, operating those two signal heads on that signal bridge that you saw. And all these little fine little wires here, there's actually five wires in each little, which you can consider a small wire. Let me tell you, those things are finer than a human hair. And wrangling those things and uh, getting them all wired up is a huge pain. Let me tell you. So I'm doing my best to get it done. It's still a work in progress. But as you can see, a lot of wiring. I've been sitting down here in my creeper with a freaking uh, sleeping bag as my backrest. Been under here countless hours getting all this stuff done. But it's working. It's what it takes. If you want to play, you got to pay. Okay, guys, that's pretty much what I got going on here for February 2020. And let me tell you, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. I know it's been a while. And uh, I'm going to get back on making more videos. Just had so much going on in life and uh, being sick and the whole COPA thing kind of freaked me out a little bit. I mean, for God's sake. But this is what I got going on. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just keep looking out for more videos. As you can see, I got the nice painted fascia here. I finagled that angle. Got that done. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> I've actually been uh, maybe wanting to put a, a turnout here and using my uh, closet as a staging yard, but that's another thought and another day. Don't threaten me. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what, what's going on. So things are looking sharp, things are looking good, looking up in the process of uh, finishing ballasting here in the yard and uh, Moving on to the next step. A lot of things planned for over here in the, well, I'm going to call it the long forgotten corner. Uh, not much has changed over here at Sullivan's Curve. Just collecting dust. As you can see, I got two trains rolling now, which is the first. But with that being said, thanks for tuning in and uh, keep an eye out for uh, another video very soon. Okay, thanks guys.